Hi everybody, this is Crystal. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make this baby blanket here. It's actually a really easy stitch. You just need to know how to single, half double, and double. But it makes a nice little tiny shell pattern. I think it turned out really nice. So the approximate size of this blanket is 32 by 36 inches. So 32 inches by 36 inches. Of course, I'll tell you how to adjust the length of your chain so you can make it bigger if you'd like or smaller. That's kind of what it looks like. Great gift for baby shower or anything actually. Just a cute little baby blanket. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Okay, for this project, I am using uh, Kartopu Lala Baby. This comes from Hobium. It's a medium weight number four, 100% acrylic yarn. Now, you don't have to use this yarn. Any uh, medium weight number four will work just fine. Now, there's 306 yards per skein, and I went through four of them. So, you're just going to need just um, a little bit over 1,200 yards. You know, not much. Um, the collar, in case you're interested, is H2301, but like I said, you can use any four-weight yarn that you'd like. And then I'm going to be using a size I, which is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook. All right, now this stitch is done in a multiple of three plus two, in case you want to make yours bigger or smaller. But if you want to follow along with me, you need to start with a chain of 116 stitches. So once you get your chain of 116, what we're going to do is single crochet in the second stitch from the hook. Now remember, we don't count the one that's on our chain. So in the second hook there, or second stitch, I'm sorry. Go ahead and do a single crochet. And then I'm going to work one single crochet in every stitch for the length of the chain. So row one is just one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of the row. All right, when you make it to the end of the row, you should have a total of 115 stitches. Now I'm showing you on a smaller scale, but following along with me, you'll have a total of 115. Now for row two, we are gonna work a chain of two and then we're gonna turn our work. And now we're going to be working a shell stitches. Now working in this very first stitch here, the very first one, we did the chain two and we're going to work in the same stitch. We're going to work a shell. So the shell consists of in the same stitch, we work one single crochet, one half double crochet, and then one double crochet. All that goes into that very first stitch. Just like that. And now we are going to skip two stitches and we're going to shell into the next. So we skip, skip, and in the next one we're going to do a shell. So we're going to work a single crochet, a half double into the same stitch, and a double into the same stitch. So that's our shell. And that's what we're going to repeat for row two. Skip two stitches, so skip, skip, and into the next one we work a shell. We single crochet, half double crochet, and double all into the same stitch. And I'm going to repeat this pattern until I get to the end of the row. So skip two, Skip, skip, and in the next we shall single crochet, half double crochet, oops, and double crochet all into the same stitch. 
one more time I'll show you. You skip two, skip, skip, and then the next you shall single, half double, and double all into the same stitch. So we're going to repeat that pattern of skipping two and then shell, skipping two and shell all the way until we get to the end of row two. All right, I'm coming to the end of the row. I just did a shell and I have three stitches left. I'm going to skip two and I'm going to single crochet into my last stitch. And that'll end row two. And you should have a total of 38 shells. So for row three is actually the repeat row for the rest of the blanket. So it's just a one row repeat. It's really easy once you get the hang of it. So row three, we are going to chain two and turn our work. Now back into this very first stitch here, we're going to work a shell. We're going to go right into it, the very first one. And we're going to do a single crochet, a half double crochet, and a double crochet. Like that. Now we are going to skip two stitches, skip, skip, and in the next stitch, which is actually the single crochet of the next shell, we're going to shell into it. So we're going to go right into that stitch and we're going to single crochet, half double crochet and double crochet. Again, we'll skip two stitches of this shell. So skip, skip, and in that single crochet of the shell from the previous row, we work another shell. So we go right into it and we single, half double, and double. And this is where we're gonna repeat now till we get to the end of row three. You skip two stitches of the, of the next shell, skip, skip, and you'll be in the single crochet of that shell. Go right into it and work another shell. So we single, half double, and double. Now I'm gonna repeat this pattern until I get to the end of the row. Skip two, and then that single crochet from the previous row, we work a shell. Just like that. So I'm going to keep repeating this until I get to the end of my row. All right, I'm coming to the end of row three. I just did a shell right there into that last, into that single crochet of this shell. I have one shell left here. I'm going to skip two stitches of the shell into the very last, into the chain two space at the end of the row. Not the single crochet, the chain two space. We are going to work a single crochet into the top of that chain two space. Just like that. And you should still have 38 shells. So that is the repeat now. We're just going to keep repeating row three. So for row four, I'm going to repeat what I did on row three. So I'm going to chain two and turn my work. And into this very first stitch, that single crochet right there, I'm going to work a shell. So I'm going to single crochet. I'm going to half double crochet. And then I'm going to double crochet. So that's my shell. And then skip the first two stitches of the next shell. And in that single crochet of that shell, we do another shell. So we single, half double, and double. So I'm just repeating what I did on the previous row. Skip the two stitches of the next shell. And in this single crochet here, we do another shell. Single, half double, 
and double. Now I'm going to repeat this pattern until I get to the end of the row. Skipping two and doing a shell into the single crochet of the shell from the previous row. So I'm repeating what I did on row three. All right, and remember this is how we end every row now. We have a shell here. Instead of working into the single crochet of the shell, we're going to end each row by single crocheting into the top of that chain two from the previous row, or the best that you can if you can find it, right there on the end, just like that. And again, you should have 38 shells. So that's it, we're just gonna keep repeating row three. It's very easy. You should always have 38 shells at the end of every row if you're following my pattern. If you made it bigger, of course, you'll have more. But you want to continue that until you get your blanket as long as you want it to be. Now, I did a total of 100 rows, and that is counting that very first row of single crochet. So you, if you count that row as number one, I did a total of 100 rows. But remember, you can make yours as big or as small as you want. It's very versatile, very versatile, so you can make it to your likings. But that's it. Once you finish, once I got to my 100th row, I just tied off and I hid my tail. Now, if you feel like it needs some type of edging, a simple crochet border would be nice or, you know, any type of fancy border if you want. It's really up to you. I chose to leave mine plain in nice and just to make it simple i think the stitch um itself was simple yet showed enough texture that it really didn't need much of a border so i left it the way it is but please feel free to put a border on it if you choose but that's it i hope you enjoyed my tutorial remember it's a nice quick easy project especially if you got a baby shower coming up or new baby do that you want to make something for super super cute blanket super easy to make so like i said i hope you enjoy my tutorial please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials any of my giveaways any of my unboxings anything to do with yarn and crochet if you love it you'll find it on my channel because i love yarn and crochet too i'm going to put a playlist right over on the right hand side of the corner there you probably uh, see it right now of all my other baby blankets so you can take a quick peek at that maybe you'll find another blanket that you like and want to make so until next time have a good day